A child's brain is twice as active as an adult's at age three. And by the age of four, they'll have absorbed more than at any other time during their life. I want to be a fashion designer. Genes are just a blueprint. Stimulation and love are the real building blocks. For many, though, the harsh realities of life can make the road to success and happiness a rocky one. As the next generation of South Africans begin their school journey, we reflect on last year's matric results. And half of those that began school 12 years ago completed their studies. Just 36% achieved a national senior certificate. Experts believe the solution lies in building solid educational foundations in the early preschool years. In Mozzoledi, kids carry rocks so that this NGO can access their township without getting stuck in the mud. I'm Vivian Makoloza. This one is my daughter's child. The other one is for my son. Parents are not working. They are both my grandchildren. I've been looking after them since they were born. There are five million in South Africa under the age of five. Just 10% of them have access to early childhood learning. In townships like Motsaledi here in Soweto, there's very little to stimulate a young mind. Now NGOs are penetrating these townships, bringing toy libraries, even if it is just once a week. The children, they like it, even the, my neighbor's children. When they see me and they roll, they just ask me, Granny, where is the toys? Where is the toy car? When is it coming? When they are there, they get what they don't have at home. They play nicely together with the other children. They share, maybe sharing. It's not like playing alone at home. ECD is an acronym for um, early childhood development in South Africa. It's specific. Um, in the age range birth to nine years and it's a, a period of rapid growth, rapid development. Because most of the neural wiring happens at that time. The evidence is black and white. A lack of nutrition and a stressful environment can stunt the growth of a child's brain. It's almost like the body readies itself for lots of opportunity and, and its potential. And then as the child, the age diminishes of a child, or as the child grows older, the, the brain naturally starts pruning away that which has not been laid down in a solid pathway. And so you're really wasting that time when all their kind of neural collections are, are kind of absolutely burgeoning. Um, and you're just missing the chance. Good nutrition and healthy meals are vital in these early years because I'm disabled, so they also get uh, the support grant. At least they don't uh, sleep without food. The child support grant has been an enormously successful mechanism of reaching children. Over four million children under six get them, um, but they often don't get them in the first year of life. We haven't done enough as a country for children up to the age of two. That is where the most brain development is happening. Um, and so we need to ensure that every child in the country um, has access to a good nutrition program. Good nutrition is just the first essential. Children must then have access to quality early childhood development programs. Most of the parents are not working, some of them are single parents, so they just have this support grant, so they can't get the kids to the crash. 
will cost this grandmother 300 rand a month to send these kids to the nearest registered creche in a minibus taxi. Infrastructure needs some serious attention. Getting children from one location to another location, um, particularly when there's nothing in that vicinity for them, is critical. So where children are born, definitely sets them on a completely different trajectory. South Africa's public investment in education is one of the highest in the world. Yet government funding for early childhood development is one of the lowest. With only 2% of public funds being invested in children up to the age of five, the social economic divide begins at grade R. In an attempt to overcome the learning deficits of poor children, the national plan is proposing to extend preschool education to two years. Grade R plus another year. Introducing the second pre-primary year and that I think is an excellent long-term goal but until grade R is sorted out it's it's really just going to be premature and it's potential for putting a lot of children into a system that can't cope with them. Research around the world indicates that investment in the early phases of children's development can benefit society more than any other form of human capital investment. What's interesting is that parents today have more options on how they choose to spend their money on their children's education. And some don't cost anything at all. Meet the single dad who opted for the former Model C school in his area the defiant unschoolers and the supermum who leave nothing to chance. Great, great, perfect. Hold it, I like it, I like it. Yeah, there you go. Okay, time is on. Okay, let's go. Yes. <laughs> All right. Hey, come on. <laughs> the Honda CRV, 2014's top selling SUV worldwide. The all-new two-liter elegance, packed with intelligent features. Just left uh, the workplace. It's quarter to two. At half past four, in about two hours' time, I need to make sure that uh, she's ready. She's graduating from preschool and going to...